So having played this game for quite a while now, I'm bringing you guys settings that I suggest you trying to use, especially on console, uh, which will make the game not only feel better, but also look better at the same time. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Star Wars Jedi Survivor, it is such a great, great game. I feel sorry for PC folks at the minute. I know it's proper lackluster over there but on console it isn't too bad in fact it's actually quite good but there's still sayings you can change and i suggest you do change to make the game not only look better but also play better at the same time so go into your options and go across to settings yes so we press start go across to the settings tab as we're here right now and first off we have accessibility so here guys you want to come down to uh camera shake now you can copy these exactly as I have them, but I'd probably suggest you guys experimenting slightly. But I turn camera shake down to 40% or below. I mean, this is horrible for me. I'm not sure about you guys, but it's definitely horrible for me. I hate that camera shake, but about 40% feels about right. Field of view, I definitely have on the widest. I mean, can have default now. It's horrible. You want to see more of your player. Uh, so the widest is definitely the better, better one in my opinion. And now about this stabilizing UI dot, this for me, I know it says a toggle to enable centered dot on the screen, which helps minimize motion sickness. I don't get motion sickness, but for me on games like this is third person games. I like to see where my player is actually looking and this helps with that a ton. I mean, you, you may not need this, but I just feel if you're like that and you like to see where your player is actually focused, this really helps with that. So yes, use this guys. Okay. So when it comes to gameplay, uh, this is what I suggest you guys using uh, auto switch target on enemy death I'd have auto lock target in combat off because you can do this yourself you can lock on by yourself you don't need this disable forward damage this is great disables forward damage if the player respawns due to falling this does not prevent the player from respawning due to falling but will ensure they don't respawn with lowered health so yes this is definitely one to have on this one right here as well, uh, toggle hold pull, enables the player to hold pull with a single press rather than holding the button. I mean, this is an option I wish I saw in other games too. So instead of actually having to hold a certain button to interact with certain things, you can just press said button much, much better. Uh, then we go to camera follow lock. I'd put this at about 80% or even a bit higher because I mean, when it's right the way down to the bottom, it is, it's horrible it really is horrible so yeah you want you want it about 80 percent or above i mean anything lower i mean it's a little bit of a delay when the when you spin quick and the camera's trying to keep up with you so yes 80 percent seems about right in my opinion okay so now we want to go to well you can come down to slow mode i'll explain this to you slow mode happens in combat so if you're in combat it slows down that combat slightly or sometimes actually slows it down quite a lot uh, which helps you I don't feel this is needed, but I mean, you can toggle this on, try it out. It may work wonders for you, but hey, try it, see what you think. Okay, so we're going to go down now to visuals. A performance mode, now this one is a tricky one because I can't stand 30 frames per second. I mean, it does my eyes funny, but even on performance mode, it's supposed to be 60 frames and it limits the resolution to uh, 1440p. In fact, I think it's supposed to be 60 frames, but for me, it definitely feels like it's dropping. It really does. But, but turning this off, guys, I mean, it's so bitty. It's so hot. I can't do it. But hey, this is one, again, I suggest you try. And, I mean, if you can play on 30 frames, definitely go with performance mode. It makes things look much better. But it's just the movement. For me, it just seems it just seems off. But I, I definitely turn this on. I definitely turn this on. Field of view, we've uh, sorted already. Brightness is just down to you. I have mine on two. Now, effects, motion blur, turn this off. I mean, man, no one likes motion blur. Film grain, turn this off too. I mean, if you've played this and you've noticed a little grainy around your character in fight, in combat, turn it off. It helps, not massively, but it definitely helps. And this right here, chronomatic aberration, turn this off too. And that's really it, guys. I mean, camera shake, I've, I've spoke of already. Um, ambient camera sway, I don't think, I think this is 0% standard. So yes, keep that off too. But that's it guys, try these settings and hopefully the game will play better for you. It definitely does for me, it looks better, it feels better, it feels smoother. And these have definitely helped me out. If you have any more, 
um, things you recommend, please do let me know. I mean, I mean, I've played the game for a while now, but I'm still basically just getting into it. I'm not far into the game whatsoever. So yes, if you have anything else you suggest me try and let me know down below. But guys, I hope the video helps you out. If it does, leave it a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.